See how sharp that is? I'm not ready to shave my beard off. <laughs> okay. He's gonna, he's gonna shave gonna you. Your face. <laughs> let's take it out on the log that is also my face, and uh, let's test it there and see if it's good. Do you know how to swing an axe? I have watched a YouTube video before this. Bounced out. Is that, the, is that the best you can do? No, I was not sure how hard to swing it. <laughs> and swing hard. That's a bouncy log. The axe is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try the side of it. Hit my face. <clears throat> yeah, we'll go with sharp. Sharp enough. One half of a Harbor Freight anvil. I need you to dull both sides of that. It's stronger than the Harbor Freight anvil. Is it? It's definitely doing more damage to the anvil than to the axe. <laughs> that still looks good as new. How are we gonna dull this? <laughs> it also did more damage to the anvil than it did to the lock. <laughs> What do we what do we look like? That blade looks perfect. <laughs> it's like unscathed. That actually did more damage than the steel hitting a rock. Yeah, that like flattened it. That's a very hard rock. Let's take a look at that now. Oh, that's like... How's a rock harder than an anvil? I don't know, that... That's actually doing a really good job though. We've got a decently dull axe. Now we need to sharpen it. What angle are axes sharped? It says most axes have a 30 to 40 degree angle at the end of the bit. What is an axe bit? Is that a, called a bit? A bit, yeah, like a drill bit, but axe. So for axe bitting. Axe bit. <laughs> 30 to 40 degree angle, which means we need 15 to 20 degrees of each side. Is this the most accurate chop saw we have? <laughs> right, so right there. So that's a... That's 90. Or is that zero? zero? Or zero, yeah. 15. So perfect. 15. That, that's about 15. <laughs> What is that? 15. Dead on. Are 15. you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the angle that is sharpened at. And so what we're going to try and do is angle this. That seems... That's not going to work. Hmm. Hang the axe off of it. And then we'll just try and stick the handle flat with that angle that we cut. And then we just water jet that front edge. Right? Well, you just gotta make sure that you don't uh, oil it while the wheel's spinning. Okay, well, keep that in mind. If I try and oil it while it's spinning, you stop me. Okay. Okay, so we may or may not have forgotten to square it up, but... Uh... That's sharper than I expected. <laughs> that's this side. It it came this way the further it got over to this side. So this top half feels pretty pretty good. Yeah, it just looks like you stuck it to a grinder. <laughs> <laughs> but that edge is not bad. We've got a fresh half of an anvil, and uh, let's start with dull side first to show how not sharp it is, and then we'll do the sharpened side and see if it's better. Jeez. Like that is the worst anvil. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's not as deep of a gouge as before, so now we'll flip it around to our sharpened side. And that is definitely a cleaner cut. 
What does the, the end of it look like? Butter. That's still sharp. So on this, we did just kind of like a, a one-sided wedge grind because we spent a long time trying to figure out how to do it the other way and it just... We're not that smart. Yeah. This side, what we're going to attempt is what if we just line this like perfectly up and then just run the water jet right down the center of it so that half the stream goes down one side and half down the other side, thus giving it a perfect bevel grind. So I think our uh, ax was so dull that it treated it like a flat piece of metal. And it just went down the middle. <laughs> it made it like a good inch down into the head. I mean, this lower one, that, that looks pretty sharp. You could probably... This top one looks about as dull as when we started. Well, half as dull because we cut half of it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. $179 give or take. How do you figure that? Uh, that's the hourly plus water jet cost and garnet electricity usage. It's all in there. And uh, three people working one hour. Mm -hmm. What's your hourly rate? I'm not sharing that down. That's private. <laughs> so how many axes could you buy for the price of sharpening this one? Uh, this was $30-ish. You could buy five and a half axes. <laughs> as long fork. as you don't try and cut rocks. But you could also probably not have three people sharpen it, and that would save you some money. But it would have taken three times as long. Mm. Good, how are you? Good. Wait, can we turn this axe? Why? Well, the weirdest thing I was using it, and then when I sharpened it, I had like um, it's like an automatic whetstone. Uh -huh. I was supposed to sharpen it, and then see like the blade started like splitting in two. Oh. You ever seen anything like that? Um, no. Do you remember when you purchased it? So just yesterday. Do you still have your receipt? Yeah, that's right here. Did you want to get another one? Um, actually, I think I'll just keep this one. I changed my mind. I think it's, since it's still got a good side, maybe I'll just keep it. Well, I mean, do you want to exchange it? Well, if, I mean, if I return it, you'll probably just have to like throw it away, right? Well, we have to give it back to the manufacturer because it might just be a manufacturer defect. Oh, okay. I'll just keep it. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I don't want you to... I just don't want it to be wasted. It won't because we'll get our money back. Well, then the manufacturer might throw it away. <laughs> okay, this has been the weirdest <laughs> transaction I've ever had. I'll be sorry. All right. Sorry. <laughs>